And welcome back. This is Kotal. Hope you all having a good week or weekend, I should say. It is this Sunday. It is also St. Patty's Day, so happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. And we have, it's a little bit of a lower pop, I think, because of the holiday. We have, it's only one server this time, so thankfully I get to see a, a full server for each HRE. It's been a while. It is a Cook's counter charge. Current player count is 287. 138 on the attacking CSA, 149 on the defending Union, so slight advantage to the Union. We'll see some more CSA come later. Let's take a look at these teams, starting out with the Union. We've got the first U.S. Sharpshooters under Carl Sam. We've got the A.N.B. under Major Jack and Colonel Killer. We've got H.L. here under Lieutenant G. We've got the 4th New Jersey under Lieutenant Pixel. We've got the S6 New York under Lieutenant Parker, 9th Corps under Uncle Dragon, the 88th under James Wesley, and the 2 USC under Captain Eddie. I don't know how he got in the Army. I don't know, Eddie. Let's see. And then it looks like A&V's got two gun crews here. Now for the attacking CSA team, we have the JB under Captain Schumacher, the AB under Lieutenant Schobel. We've got HE under Captain Homa. Are we there yet? The two core here. Under. I'm not sure who. Zeo Panama. Zeo Panama. We're going to wait a second, actually. 13 Georgia under Major Cawthon. 20th under Major Canada. Let's see who else is this. CQB under Colonel Doug. And two core over here. And now this is Timonissimo from the DB, and I believe I caught everybody. I think Tallgrass in here somewhere too. Oh, we've got JD as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we are live and off they go. As you can see here, it is live at 40, no sprinting. And it looks like the CSA is mostly moving over to the right side here. The Union though has a good portion of their regiments out to the Union right, CSA left. Nothing really engaging that. Some elements going down to the center here, like AB, along with HD. Now, um, for those who might not know, this game is It's it is currently on sale. Wow, look at this volley going off here from this Union line. It is on sale right now for $15 uh, through the 21st of March for the spring sale. So if you've been waiting to pick it up, now is a great time to do so. I think they're charging us. And this event is called the Historical Rules Event. It is played every Sunday at um, 7 p.m. GMT. It is open to additional units, so if you're looking for an event at that time slot... Man, look at this fire coming in. I'm going to stop with the sales pitch and watch this for a little bit, because this is some intensive fire. But yeah, if you're looking for an event at that time, um, the HRE might be for you. Fire at will, John. That's what the word is. Here comes the main CSA attack moving up here with Cawthon in the lead. Okay. Aim. Ooh, good call there. is taking a lot of concentrated fire here. And they are starting to get melted pretty quickly, despite the uh, higher respawn right now. I think Killer might actually have to move his men back here. We got Carlson on his right trying to give him some support. Now out here, you still have a good amount of the Union line that's guarding the flank here in the form of HL. 
Getting in some distance flanking fire. They may have to move up, I think, to, uh, to have better effects, possibly to the uh, crest of this slight incline. But we'll see. They may be worried about uh, the wide flank. You got 4th New Jersey over here as well. Let's take a look at the CSA line. In fact, we got some heavy movement here by the 20th. Major Canada, he's been in the van this whole time. Here comes home up with the HD. Good use of concealment on his part. Who knows where the enemy is? Hopefully they don't know where he is, at least for a second. George is looking for a flank, it looks like. I can stabilize the camera. Oh, it looks like uh, HL did rotate out like I thought they they would. Oh, they, they went deeper instead of going in, but I think this is actually a better idea. I think Gene had a better move than I had thought. I can see he's still got decent uh, cover, but he can see it a little bit further back now. Oh, who's moving up here? JD trying to punch in here a little bit, joined by HD. You can see Union tickets are starting to melt pretty quickly here. All right, 35 minutes here. He needs about a third of the way from engaged. And CSA has not lost a lot of tickets as of yet. So we've got the Artie okay, okay, okay. trying to get their guns in position here. I don't know if they got a caisson back. Just one cannon is probably not going to be sufficient. As a general rule, I'm not a fan of the new flag respawn rate at five seconds. But I will say for this event, it might be, um, it's making it much more line battle-y. We'll see what happens once they get bayonets. Oh, here's the decent most brought his men up as well to support HD. And they're slowly pushing back the Union. I don't know how much longer they're going to hold on this hill. They're losing a lot of tickets trying to do so. In fact, I think we're starting to see them pull off of it now. They might try to do some reverse slope action here. We'll see. And 88th get pinged there by 13th Georgia. And he's bringing his way back. Oh, you got a deep. Uh, JD has gotten well behind the Union lines here. As a skirmish section, we'll see if they can get some additional fire out. Meanwhile, HL is going to pull back. Fort George is going to cover them. There's a lot of action on this map. Check. Oh yeah, shoulder arms. Right wheel. Right wheel. Right As you can see, the CSA has basically got them into a hole now. And there's really not a cohesive line anymore. Here comes HL, and now they're doing that flank maneuver I was kind of thinking about earlier. Ooh, nice volley by Mr. Gene and his boys there. They're supported by 4th New Jersey as well. Still back over here, although we'll see if Pixel moves up. He's still got some skirmishers out here. Who is this? All right, some of two cores still out here. Along with AB, Mr. Shovel engaging the 4th New Jersey. And the Union at 32 minutes has hit engaged. Plenty of tickets left for the CSA. This is not boating well for the Union. See 
Now the Union's been pushed all the way back to this far sector here. And now HL and 4th and Heroes are a little bit cut off here. We'll see if they hang out here to try to be a threat or if they're going to try to reconsolidate back. Oh, 5th Corps is in here as well. I don't think I mentioned 5th Corps. I apologize. Uh, Lieutenant Edgar. I didn't, I didn't call out Lieutenant yeah, Edgar either. He's leading the uh, Zoom Corps right now. Okay, Mr. Bunch. We are on a full server, though. Uh, now the sides, 145. Yeah, you just got an 8-man. Hi, boys. Here comes 13th. On his left and right. Alright, take it. And they're gonna pop back down under cover. And to be honest with you, with that level of fire, I think that is the right call, you know. Oh, now we got an attack out here. Who is this? Captain Schumacher by the JB is going to try to tangle with the HL. We'll see if he has enough combat power to do it, especially with 4th Jersey over here. And 5th Corps is also over here. And 5th Corps is under the command of Snow Cactus. No, I miss Snow Cactus as well. I apologize, sir. Shoot, that's the closest in the open, though. How did I miss these guys? I don't know. I think I bagged one. Bayonets are now live. Ooh, we got a nice firing line. Who is this? Two core. Edgar's moved his men up here. And up he goes. Spring is now live. And it looks like we have an initial assistant attack here. Nope, but JB has been pushed back. Oh, but we got a wide flank now. Who is this? It is HD, Mr. Homa, along with 13th George Major Gawthorne, is trying to get onto the flank of the Union line here. And Mr. Parker is going to try to intercept them. Let's see if he can do it. By the way, if you are looking for a new unit as a player, either veteran or new, there are links to many of these units in the Discord. You see a unit that looks like fun? You see their leadership style? Man, it's gonna be fun. Join their Discord. And find out what it takes to sign up. You can be in the event too. And the CSA embedded now in the hay bales. You can try to shoot them out. And the CSA holding a sizable ticket advantage. And here's what I was worried about. Now you've got the Union kind of getting cut off. You got JD here. Cutting off some of the Union here. They're gonna get squeezed here pretty soon. It looks like AB is on the move, possibly try to outflank the fifth row over here. And if you like what you uh, these videos, you want to help me out with the channel. Uh, you guys know the grift. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Help the channel grow, hopefully get more exposure to the game, more exposure to the regiments, more exposure to the events. And in words of, and I do admire quite a bit, Mr. Jehovah, we all grow together. No. no my hope is we can get, oh, and tell me the 8th Ward. I didn't know that was one state. Nice. And 2 USC Eddie is going to move all the way back here. Parker's still trying to hold back this tide. Supported by 9th Corps and the 88th on his flank, along with A and B. A and B has been taking a lot of major fire here this whole game. They, I think they've noticed the uh, their major threat, and they've been trying to knock them out as best they can here, the CSA team. See, Eddie is now over here. Oh, but Park is charging in. I don't know if he has enough combat power for this. Not against these two units here, not by himself. Tip the spear, but the spear might break. Hold here, guys. Hold here. Independent fire, northwest. Yeah, that charge. I don't know about that charge.
That has nice. Oh, I, moved. I missed a nice there move by the CQB. Oh. Oh, man. Looks like they, they outflanked the Union element that was over here, and I completely missed that. Oh, that's a shame. Well, good job, Doug. I can see the results of it. The Union line over here has completely collapsed. So, well done to the CQB and the other supporting units here. You can see the leftovers are now moving back. And 26 minutes, CSA has just now hit engaged. The Union is well behind them. I think the CSA is at a good pace here, and they're also really capturing the field. You can kind of see if I stream out here, uh, they're really forcing the Union into a fishbowl and uh, just pressing them more and more. In fact, who is this? CQB pressing the advantage here. And they are engaging. Who's in front of the multiple units here? It looks like A and B, along with the USS Sharpshooters. Get the barrels Fire away, CQB! Fire away! We're stacked up on top of each other. CQB! Reform this goddamn line! What is this? That's right, that's right. I'm back, I'm back, the NCO there trying to get the line in. Stay fired! That's right, CQB. That's right. Meanwhile, we've got, who is this over here? AB along with 2 Corps pressing up on the flank here. But now we got a counter move here. You've had Fifth Corps trying to hold him, but now Gene has moved up. Nope, Gene has said, nope, never mind. He doesn't want any of that. I think he's wise. they got to preserve tickets. But oh, we got to move out here. It is killer. He's going to try to ambush the CQB here. He got a pretty nice damn volley in there, Mr. Killer from the A and B. But you can see how far now, let's see, the rest of the Union, so you got to get in his own element of the A and B out here. With the 88th on his right, supported by 9th Corps. And then you've got Parker has reformed his men to their left here. And you still have some nice flank and fire here by Eddie and his boys. Well, we got an attack developing here, 20th Georgia going in. Trying to knock out 9th Corps in 88. They've knocked out 9th Corps. They've knocked out 88. And they knocked out the NYB as well. Tom Jumbo says, we have done enough. But HB says, we want a piece. Here comes Homa ordering his boys. 13 Georgia Gotham joining with him. But oh shit, here comes Killer into the side of the HD. The hand B is broken. You hate to see it, and a great counterattack by the hand B. Trucks, 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 oh. Spillable, Spillable. And Canada is desperately trying to save his division. But Get General up, Lee, up, I have oh. no division. But we'll see. They still got their two flags. If they don't wipe these two flags out, this formation will respawn very quickly here. But Eddie, I think, knows it. We'll see if Eddie can save the day and knock out these flags and prevent the HD and 13 from coming back. They don't have much time. That's how this thing changes now. Now with the five second timer, you cannot allow units to stay stationary here and respawn. You have to knock them out and that's what the old guard, the home guard I should say, not the old guard, the home guard is doing. Run for your lives, run for your lives. And Eddie has finished the job. Even though the flag got out, you've at least pushed them away now, and they have retaken that position. Well done by the 2 USC. Oh, there you are. Uh, now we got 4th New Jersey trying to engage. Who is this? CQB as they are maneuvering here. But they are supported. Here's the Nisimo and his boys. Someone kill me. I can't move. Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. Oh, he might have gotten stuck on that rock bridge. See, the Union has been pushed back to defending their spawn. Uh, 
Let's check and see how, who's this over here? It is fifth door, along with HL. New Jersey trying to hold on to, ooh, that, he got nailed by a CQB volley, trying to cross the road there. Thank you. That linear danger area is living up to its name. Take aim. We got Southern here in the NYV. Put down a volley. The Union's in a lot of trouble. They're almost halfway down to uh, breaking now. You CSA more than a mile state ahead. Plenty of time left on the clock here. Two-core now trying to move up on the HL. They're going to charge up here. It looks like they're going to move into support CQB. And it looks like they're going for a cap. Which is an interesting choice here. Maybe not. No, no, they're not on the cap. Oh, right. Oh, look at that concentrated volley from three Union units has, melt, has melted the CQB. That is a new order of this game, concentrated volley fire on selected targets here. And they waited for them to expose them. Two cores going to try now. They're going to try to beat the volley. We'll see if they can do it. They got hit pretty hard too, not as bad, but still not great. And it looks like we've got a new attack developing here. You've got 20th Georgia putting in some fire over here while HG tries to maneuver. You've got 9th Corps. Okay, so uh, it's not Dragon, it's actually Maythor is actually in command. So I apologize, I've been fucking the commanders all up here. And then you got Eddie watching the flank here as the cab guard. Check back up on them in a moment here, but we got some major volley fires going on over here. Shot from the A and B. The jack and element of it, I should say, the 6 Alabama. Did? Nobody said anything, though. Yeah, Carlson and his boys, the sharpshooters. want somebody to take down a flag, he is your man. And it looks like Gene is going to redeploy the HL. Towards the center here. He's worried about point. They are capping again. The CSA is capping again, which is interesting. Here. Yeah, I think the Union has now concentrated pretty well here. Let's see, Doug is going to try to maneuver around them, it looks like, and get a different angle on them, especially now that HL has moved off. That might give him an opening. Why have you formed seven rights? Go to the right! Let's see, they're trying to engage this fifth core element out here, and they got him pretty good. Some good tickets. Actually, that's not bad target selection. Let's rotate back out to you what we got over here. We've got 20th now in the center. Okay. Got a nemesis. I got Hagar. Oh, Hagar's got it. Oh, never mind. I got it. You got it. Never mind. Thank you very much. Okay, so I got the point. Left face, double quick. Left face, Left double, face quick. double quick. Forward. And Cannon is going to move out as well. I, you know, it looks like they're trying to recap a bit. Uh, I mean, they would, maybe if we had 20th in, you guys maybe. And, and Cawthon's 
Brown is going to move out as well. That just leaves Homer over here. PhD engaging in a long distance shootout here with two USC. It looks like we got another major flight developing over here, so I'm going to swing back. Yes, we do. HL came and tried to punch him in the face here. Tukor gave him a good shot, though, as well. Halt. And now you can see this concentration now developing even more. My line right, my line right, boys. My line so you can see he's really just trying to inch him towards that breaking and then just get over the top on the cap. Appears to be the strategy. I think that is a good one. I'm not sure what the Union can do to try to avoid it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to think of a way out of it. I do think the concentration by the Union is the way to go as well. Company with me, double click forward march. Double quick. Oh, here comes 246 LA. They're going to move up onto the right side of DB over here. Quick time, boys. Smell it, boo, boy! Fifteen minutes remaining. They've almost got the CSA to take the losses, but they are almost at breaking. And again, the uh, CSA has a real advantage with their positioning. A well done CSA move here. Again, I'm not sure what I would do different as Union. Um, at this point in the game, they're trying to concentrate their forces as best they can. How much fire here the HL and the Ninth Corps have now taken? They actually took a decent amount of losses. And they are very near now. Breaking here. Let's take a look here. We got Fifth Corps over here along with Fourth New Jersey. And Pixel has ordered a charge. I think he knows any moment now they're going to go on break and he's going to try to uh, get into a position to stop him a little bit here. Honestly, he's just getting his men killed out of line right now. I'm not sure about this charge by 4th and Jersey. And JB, JD are going to counterattack it. Give him out, boys. Give him out. Shoot them. Shoot them. Oh, fifth court came up here to try to get some support here for Snow Cactus. Here they come. Here they come. All right, boys. Remember momentarily to back here. if you need to, but I've killed their officer. Looks like we got an attack developing over here. Oh, two USC pulled off here, and Doug has seen an opening, and he is going to take the side here. This might be key here, this move here by the CQB. Who's coming to uh, try to stop him? It's Killer. Oh, but who's coming in behind? This is 13th is coming in as well. Oh, there's the breaking by that move off of Doug. And here we go. Move towards point. And here's the flood. A great reaction by these units here in the center, but now you can see the problem. Now they've gotten them into a kill zone. That's what the CSA was waiting for. And they are just slaughtering these Union units here now and melting the tickets. Even if they succeed in holding the point, they are going to be so damaged now. That's going to be damn deadly. And as you can see, 13th Georgia has finished off that attack on that flank and will outflank them now. Here comes Gene, he's going to try to intercept them. But he's not attacking towards point, and that's the problem, because now the CSA is on point, and that... Oh, no, he turned. Gene turned just in time. Just in time. Good move by HL there. And it looks like the Union will hold it here. There's some remnants here from... Uh, Fifth Alabama here. Oh, wait a second. Who's this? 
Oh, Doug is still in the fight. Oh, the, they didn't kill the flag. Oh, they let Doug survive. And he can still threaten them from back here. Oh. Get on the line. CQB on the line. To the right, some people coming. This goes back to you. Can't leave a unit. Uh, yeah, CQB, pull it back. CQB, pull it back. Let's make sure. CQB, let's make sure. CQB is going to get out of there. But they have done some serious damage to the Union. You can see how close they are now to last stand. One more push will probably do it. They have plenty of time to plan it. And they have plenty of tickets. And CQB is going to try to get back to Maine here. As the Union is going to figure out what they're going to do next. And one range. The Union is going to try to reform its battle line for one final stand. You have a one flanking element out here. Who is this? It is fifth right, corps. If you see him, independent fire. Um, but call him out if you do see him. But the rest of the union appears concentrated on point right, now. Yeah. Right, right, up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cal. Uh, ninth corps doing a little pop volley. Make sure they know they're there. Got a screening line out here by who is this? HL. A nice uh, screen line they got going. Kill's gonna try his luck at a pop volley. Up, 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 up. Go, go, go. Honestly, until the CSA comes up and starts returning fire, uh, we might as well. Actually, let's go. CSA is also concentrating pretty much on the center position. Oh, let's see who's coming out here. Great approach here. You see uh, 20th using the concealment. Trying to hide itself as best it can from this massive Union line it's facing right now. Got some movement over here. Okay. See, this is the danger here. Two core, not two core. Fifth core has kind of made itself a uh, a target here, and Schumacher wants to get them. Very nice tickets if you can get them. They had some covering fire from that union on top of the hill there, though. Let's see if fifth core can hold this with that support on the top. They have held, thanks in part, to the first U.S. Sharpshooters, 9th Corps, and the 6th New York. And you can see now, it's starting to get closer and closer to that last stand here. At this pace, they are in trouble. And it looks like they're going to rotate at least one unit out to the right side again. And it is dug once more, rotating towards the hay bales. HL looks like they are maneuvering yes, yes, yes. Get, get to up, deal up, with up. that threat. Now oh, it's the second unit coming in as well. Who's coming in? Looks like the two cores moving in as well. Yeah, I think swallowing up this little unit here, the fifth core unit here, would be uh, hugely beneficial. On the last stand. Now let's rotate out and see this attack on the hay bales. In comes HL charging in. Oh, trying to knock out CQB before the reinforcements come up. The 2 has come up as well. But the 
88 was waiting for him. Souther, a nice counter charge. Was able to knock him off. Eddie was in there supporting as well. And they've gotten the CSA on a breaking. Ninth Corps moving up very far here. I don't know, this is this is dangerous here. And they have gotten themselves exposed to the guns of the HD, and that will put them on the last stand. Now first US sharpshooters going in as well. I, I'm not quite sure I follow the logic of this. He's throwing away your tickets now. I mean, yeah, you disrupted them a little bit, but. I think they decided for a uh, a final attack here. I think they saw the writing on the wall. It's a little bit too much of a wall to climb, but we'll see how it finishes off here. That is it. A valiant effort by the Union team, but um, they were not able to uh, carry the day here on this Cooks. So, uh, great lines, great looking battle. Very cinematic looking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got one more today, and that'll be it for this week. UK battle.